All right, guys. So behind me, we have our partially put together spray booth. So we bought this thing used off of a friend, actually a friend of mine, he owns a powder coating company and they had this old booth that they've been trying to sell for a long time. So just to break this down for you real quick, it's 14 feet wide. I think it's like seven feet deep and seven feet tall. And what we got to do, see this big exhaust over here? We got to run all of this straight up through the ceiling. We've got also a fire suppression system that we have to reinstall. So these big guys right here, you see these two, and then we've got some stuff over here for the fire suppression system. And so at the moment, we are pulling permits and talking with the electrician, going around and around and around with the city, first of all, talking with the AC company, the duct work guy that can do all the work to, to run this out, and uh, talking with the fire safety company as well, Anchor Safety that's gonna reinstall our fire suppression system. So the goal here though, now that we're in a commercial space, now that we're doing doing this right, doing this big time, that we get completely compliant, get completely legal. Now, you didn't hear this from me, but right when you're starting up, you gotta be scrappy. You gotta do whatever you can to make the thing work. And so that's what we've done for a long time. And so we're finally getting to the point now where we're in a big commercial space, we're making some big moves, and we need to get compliant. And so that's what all this is for, really is to make sure that we're compliant. We're doing what we need to do so that we can can continue to scale without continually running into roadblocks. And so the beauty of this is that it's gonna number one, eliminate all the fumes that would otherwise be in the shop. It's gonna make it a safer work environment. I've never had any problems at all with the way that we've sprayed in the past with any type of fire hazards or anything like that. We've never had any anything ever happen for six years now. We've never had any problems, but obviously this will also help eliminate any potential fire hazards with spraying lacquer, which is what we finish our furniture with. So a couple things to know about this is the way this is gonna work if you wanna come with me. And so essentially what happens, you've got these panels that are gonna sit like so in here. And this will be the spray area here. And the exhaust will pull everything out of the back of the booth and up above the roof line. So that's essentially how it's gonna work. From a speed and production standpoint, one of the things that I've already been visiting with my general manager about is us having a lot of mobile tables on wheels that we can put product on. If we had five or six different tables, we could put product on, we could wheel it in, spray it, let it suck the fumes and then we can wheel it out and wheel something else back in. We don't wanna leave stuff sitting in this booth because it's gonna slow us way, way down. So that's just something that will allow us to move really, really fast. And so that's obviously the goal, especially when we get really busy. So the last two months alone, Iron by Iron Woodworks has done around $250,000 in sales in two months. And so this is the most we've ever done by far and within a two month span of time. And so we have a huge backlog right now. We have a lot of clients. We're coming up on Thanksgiving, coming up on Christmas. So we got to get our ducks in a row so we can start hammering this stuff out. So with the sander, which hopefully if you haven't checked that video out, you will, we'll link it right up here. But with the new 53 inch wide belt sander, plus installing this booth, we should become a much more well old machine uh, over the next 30 to 45 days. And so that's kind of our goal is to get to where we can really pump this stuff out quickly, efficiently, and that ultimately allows us to increase our ad spend, start selling more again, and have more capacity. And the beauty of having good equipment and good machinery, if you have volume of sales, and now this is one thing where a lot of people are gonna mishear me, they're gonna think, oh, I gotta go buy expensive equipment right now. I don't believe that. I don't agree with that. You need to get sales first. You need to have a huge backlog of sales, and you need to have a lot of money coming in from all the sales that you have to be able to justify and support these sorts of decisions. But what's beautiful now is that a base basically have eliminated the human equation when it comes to sanding. So, you know, right now we have five employees in the shop. And so if one employee misses that day, we know oh, we're gonna be 20% less efficient that day. Well, that's not the case now with having a sander. So we're gonna be able to run a lot of product through that sander and it should make a massive difference. Number one, in the quality and the consistency of what we have. And then also having a place like this, that's more of a dust-free environment, which it doesn't look very dust-free right now, but it will be. Having a dust-free environment where we can lay down consistent consistent finishes with paints and, and lacquer is gonna be a game changer for us. So it is a used booth. And let me tell you why I did that too, because you know, with a sander like that, I can see the value in spending more money and getting something new. This, the main thing here is if that, if the exhaust works, it works, right? And so we can spray in a cardboard box if the exhaust works, but we have to be compliant as well. So the reason that we went the used round is because a new booth like this, that's this big, is about a $25,000 booth, not including any of the duct work, not including any of the electricity, and not including any of the fire suppression system. By getting it used, we were able to get the booth for $10,000, including the fire suppression system and the majority of the duct work. Now we are having to spend another $3,800 to get the fire suppression system reinstalled once we 
we have the booth put together. We're having to spend another 2,500 or three grand to do all the duct work. And then we're having to spend another thousand dollars to run the 220 electricity to this side of the shop. And so you can see how this stuff adds up really quickly. It's a lot of money, right? And so again, I don't necessarily have all this cash just laying around right inside of the company, especially when you, if we were to talk about buying that sander in cash, buying this in cash. But what you can do is you can leverage your relationship with your bank. So if you don't have a good relationship with your bank, and by the way, like a Chase bank isn't going to do nothing for you. You need to go talk to a local small bank and say, hey, I have a business that's growing. You need to be able to give them financial reports. And if you can do that, they will lend you some money, some capital so that you can do this type of stuff for a small monthly payment as opposed to having to front the cash. Now, a lot of you guys, especially you Dave Ramsey fans, and I like Dave Ramsey too, but a lot of you guys will be like, oh, well, I don't want to ever have to finance anything. Well, a lot of times that's the best option to, to move forward with what your business needs and also not take a giant blow financially. So hopefully this video is helpful. If you have any questions about the booth, let me know. A lot of stuff I don't know yet either. I'm also trying to get it all set up, get it squared away. Like I said, we're in a wrestling match right now with the city, trying to get permits pulled, trying to get all this stuff taken care of. So hopefully, hopefully this stuff is done within the next week. And so that's all I got for you in this video. If you got any questions about the booth, let me know. If this is helpful to you, let me know. If there's anything else that we can direct you on, let me know. Love you guys. See you in the next one.